Right guys, we've got a new video for you here. So today we're looking at lossless scaling, where you can double your frames across different games um, out there right now. Old to new games, what have you. Yeah, so checking out this software, it's on Steam. It's going for a fiver. I recommend it, if, like I said, if you've got a 1080, a 2K or a 4K monitor. <coughs> today we're testing out on a 1080, 60 hertz monitor. Uh, we're going to double the frames in set a course of compatibility. So basically install install it, right click properties, go to beta, select betas, yeah. Launch the goddamn thing, go into it. And now we've got shortcut keys, you can use this. Or what I like to do is tab out the game and tab back in. Yeah. Control is it all tab. Yeah. I like to tab out and come back in. To enable the scaling button which will make sense later so yeah we don't want to be messing around with the scaling mode or scaling type we're interested in frame generation so you want to click lf ls fg scroll down not mess around with anything else i want to see what i'm doing with the frames per second so i'll just you click draw frames per second and that's sorted there now so in order to make this work you need to cap your frames half yeah so basically if i'm running a 60 hertz monitor you want to half that and you want to cap your frames at 30 if you're running 120 you want to cap it at 60 and in order to cap your frames you need a reverb tuner which come with, comes with msi afterburner which is free download you can get and then additionally you can install reverb tuner to cap your frames so in order to cap your frames you want to click right here and put the half number of your hertz in there if that makes sense. Another way to do it is to right click, go to NVIDIA control properties, control panel, sorry, click on manage 3D settings, scroll down, and over here we've got max frame rate in which we can do the same thing without the faff. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that off. Right, so that's that. Now let's run a game. So we're gonna look at set of course like Capetti on here. So guys, we're in the game now, and let's go for the options. So video, the first thing you want to do is disable full screen. So any game has got full screen, you've deactivated that, and either got borderless, win windowed, or windowed, yeah? You do not want full screen. Next thing you want to do is disable VSync, and that's everything you need to do. And the other thing is just rank everything up. So as you can see, everything's ranked up here. It's 1080p, remember? So yeah, we are. It's going to be quite a bit of load on the graphics card with this resolution as well. So hit apply. Now let's go to the race itself. Um, so yeah, I've chosen a really crazy time for the night. It's gone midnight. It's loads of cars. What have you? We've got a flipping weather conditions really bad in this. Just to stress the GPU, yeah. Guys, we're back in the game now, and as you can see, the frames are getting tanked real badly. Like 20 frames I'm getting. <coughs> so ideally, what we want to want to double it to 60. And how we're going to do that? We want to get this number here. I think it makes a difference anyway. So we want to lower this to about 40. Yeah. So we can get 30 solid. So as you can see, it's still, this is 30 frames per second, the GPU is getting loaded crazy. So what we want to do is, just the start button, I need to tab out actually. And now, I'm going to cap it to 30, yeah, so we'll get, so if we've got a bit over 30, it's not going to dip under, and it is actually, but anyways, we're just going to, for demonstration purposes, we're just going to put 30 now, 30 frames per second, so we've capped it there, yeah. Yeah, so now we've capped the frames and this is where the magic starts. Open the app. Like I showed you before, make sure the frame generation is on. And now all you want to do is click on this button and then tab it into the game or just click on the game itself. And we're gonna get um, a frames per second. Second uh, digit. 
top. So let's have a look. So there you go, top left hand corner, because you got 60 frames now. And that's amazing. So original was like 30, now it's double to 60 and yeah, it's running smoother, you can just see that instantly. I mean, it's crazy, right? Yep. What we can do is here from here we can feel a bit darish, you can actually start increasing the res. Why would you want to do that? I don't know, but it just gives you extra clarity, get rid of all the jagged edges that you can see. Hit apply. Still it's keeping a very smooth um, the gameplay is smooth and it's such a game should change it because the visuals remain the same. Than anything now, let's go back out, disable it, and so I've disabled it. It's maintaining 30 because That back on zero, see what we're getting now. So, yeah, we're getting 35 40 frames. Worst case scenario, we're getting to 50. All oh, right, you're getting 50. There's no bad. But regardless, it is it's kicking ass. I mean, this frame gen is a game changer. Let's put it on again. Scaling, keep it at 30, so we keep it consistent, and we need to click onto it. So you make, make sure you click onto the game itself. I'm going to turn it now, cap it at 30, bam, there you go, 60 frames per second. It's looking fantastic. So there you go, guys. I'm waffling on. But if you've got a 1080 monitor, this is a game changer. I mean, it's really bad. And everything's really smooth. So make sure you download it, install it, and run out of the game, see, let me know what's going on. I haven't tried this on the 4040p, it works on the 1080 Ti, so I'm assuming it works on every graphic, graphics card. Um, but yeah, man, peace out. Sh leave a like, subscribe, share, get it downloaded. Cheers, thanks for watching.